From the featherweight champion's spellbinding journey to the top, to fans refusing to tolerate McGregor's diss at the Australian's background, here's why Alexander Volkanovsky was disowned by his hometown. The current UFC featherweight champion's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. With an impressive record of 13-1, he made his mark in the octagon, winning an incredible 12 consecutive fights in the prestigious promotion. Among his top-notch achievements are five title fight victories, cementing his name as a legend in the featherweight division. Determined to push his limits, Volkanovski took on a new challenge by moving up a weight class. He wanted to face Islam Makachev for the lightweight title, and the clash was an intense battle with the Dagestani ultimately winning. Nevertheless, the great was quick to return to his natural featherweight division, where he successfully defended his title for the fifth time against Yair Rodriguez at UFC 290. The Australian outclassed El Pantera and secured a remarkable TKO victory in the third round. With his fifth successful title defense, he's now standing shoulder to shoulder with the heavyweight champ John Jones at the very top of the pound for pound mountain. He's breaking records left and right, and the Aussies are going wild for their featherweight phenom. But even though he's been nothing short of electrifying, some men are turning a blind eye to his achievements. In a shocking turn of events, Volkanovsky won't be receiving the keys to his hometown anytime soon. The city's mayor, Gordon Bradbury, has set his foot down and refuses to endorse violence of any kind. And yes, that includes Australians who've made a name by pummeling people in the octagon ring. In his bold decision, Bradbury made it clear that he didn't want to send the wrong message to the youth, fearing that promoting UFC fighters might spark an interest in practicing MMA, which he believes could lead to brain trauma. Gordon knows he has a responsibility to be a voice of reason, and as Lord Mayor, cannot intentionally honor Alexander. Deny it or not, UFC is an undeniably violent sport, and it goes against everything that he's encouraged within his community. The mayor also expressed concern about the growing awareness of brain trauma, and emphasized the importance of sending the right message to young people. More so, he questioned Volkanovsky's own decision to engage in a sport that affects his and others' well-being. On the other hand, he's given credit where it's due. But it's still sad that he won't get the key to the city, considering a lot of other people like Justin Yerberry, who's a total boss in motor neuron disease research, have been given one. And let's not forget about Emma McKeon, the Olympic gold medalist. Oh, and even sports teams can get in on the action. The St. George Illawarra Rugby League side snagged those keys when they won the NRL Premiership in 2010. As for Alexander, the great not only owns the UFC featherweight title, but also has the keys to Shell Harbor, his current stomping ground. Shell Harbor knows a real winner when they see one, and they couldn't resist honoring Volkanovski for his jaw-dropping accomplishments when he beat Max Holloway for that coveted UFC featherweight title. Also, he grew up in Windang, a southern suburb of Wollongong, where he also trains out of the freestyle fighting gym. So, for the Lord Mayor to turn his back on their local celebrity is sad, and fans are taking Volk's side in this drama. They are fuming that Alexander won't be honored. People are scratching their heads, wondering what more this man needs to do to earn that recognition. With his incredible run in the UFC and his dominant reign as the featherweight champion, many fans believe he's more than deserving of this prestigious honor. Social media is ablaze with fans rallying behind Alexander the Great. They're arguing that his accomplishments speak for themselves, and he's proven time and again that he's a beast. Some are even questioning the mayor's reasoning, wondering why other athletes and figures from different fields have received the keys to the city while Volkanovsky's being overlooked. Fans are standing firm in their support for him, and they won't let this go quietly. To them, he's the pride of the community, and it's only right that he be recognized for his outstanding contributions to the sport. If you'll remember, the hype surrounding his match with Makachev, it was unlike any experience on Australian soil, making it the most anticipated event in Australian UFC history. The match was a big deal because he was finally getting the chance to prove himself in front of his own people. Back then, early pay-per-view figures estimated that Volkanovski's headliner was on track to make history. The fight was set to become the most watched event, surpassing even the likes of legendary fighters Conor McGregor, Ronda Rousey, Israel Adesanya, and Robert Whittaker. As a matter of fact, UFC executives have already discussed the possibility of having Alex headline another pay-per-view event. Not to mention, the fan support quadrupled since his beatdown with Islam. 
People are passionately defending Volkanovsky's ranking as the pound-for-pound -pound king, despite his loss to Makachev. It's clear that Alexander's performance in the fight left a lasting impression on fans, and many believe that he shouldn't lose his top spot. Some fans argue that Volkanovsky pushed Islam like no one else has before, showcasing his incredible wrestling skills, an ironclad nature throughout the bout. They emphasize that the fight's competitiveness and the way it ended with the Australian fighter dropping and landing ground and pound on Makachev should be enough to retain his ranking. Others commend both fighters for proving their worth in their respective specialties, with the Russian MMA fighter showcasing his striking abilities and Volkanovsky displaying his grappling strength. They believe that both fighters deserve their pound-for-pound -pound statuses, and the match was one of the most competitive title fights in UFC history. Not to mention, fans are impressed by how daring he was to face a bigger opponent in the lightweight division. Either way, the Aussie doesn't need applause to devour and conquer. He's got one aim these days, and that is to become the king of the octagon. Even Dana White couldn't help but praise the beast he's becoming. Volkanovsky's performance against Rodriguez was out of this world, and the UFC boss is practically bowing down to the great after that epic display. White couldn't stop gushing about Volkanovsky, calling him an absolute freak. And honestly, who can blame him? That level of skill and domination is just unreal. But here's the kicker. Volkanovsky has now reached a superstar status where he's got the green light to call the shots. He's lost the key to the city, but he's gearing up to take over the UFC kingdom. As for becoming a two-weight world champion, he still dreams about it. Volkanovsky isn't taking that loss against Islam lying down. He's been banging the drums for a rematch with Makachev ever since the fight ended. According to The Great, he should have walked away with the win that night. While White's given no promises about how soon he'll arrange a rematch, for now, another contender is on Volkanovsky's radar. There's one big name missing from his list of conquests, the notorious Conor McGregor. We all know the Irish professional's larger-than-life presence in the UFC, and even though he never defended the belt, he became an absolute star in the 145-pound division. Now, it's a long shot that he'll ever make that weight cut again, but that hasn't stopped Volkanovsky from throwing down the gauntlet. The Great took to Twitter, proposing a mouth-watering matchup with McGregor at lightweight. And the Irish fighter didn't disappoint given trash talk is his forte. The sparks are flying, and a seed has been planted for what could be a blockbuster showdown. Sure, McGregor's currently coaching opposite Michael Chandler, and the date for their fight is still up in the air. He's not even in the USADA testing pool yet, but hold on tight, because Dana isn't ruling out the possibility of seeing him back in the octagon this year. Exemptions have been made before for fighters to compete in less than six months of testing. So, all signs are pointing to a potential McGregor Volkanovsky showdown that seems inevitable. Except, it looks like the Irish King's more keen on learning about Alexander's background. Connor's interest in the Aussie's heritage during the Alex vs. Rodriguez showdown caught the attention of UFC fans on Twitter. McGregor asked if Volkanovsky was of Polish descent, to which fans quickly corrected him, stating that the Australian fighter has Macedonian and Greek heritage. Some fans interpreted McGregor's questions as disrespectful and trying to downplay Volkanovsky's accomplishments by questioning his background. They emphasized that Alexander's heritage shouldn't overshadow his achievements, as he's an exceptional fighter with a strong lineage. Moreover, some fans used the opportunity to express their support for the Aussie and let McGregor know he'd be defeated in a fight against Volkanovsky. That definitely bruised Connor's ego, so let's see if he steps up to the challenge. So there you have it, folks. From fans refusing to tolerate McGregor's diss at the Australian's background to the current featherweight champion's spellbinding journey to the top, that was why Alexander Volkanovsky was disowned by his hometown.